Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Jagged Alliance 3. Uh, Bravo team got hit by a rocket last time. Wow. Uh, so they are slightly injured, um, but we are running out of bad guys to face. Uh, Alpha Squad is moving up to tidy up these last eight guys and then they're going to swing back round and we're going to rest up and move forwards together having distributed our ammo somewhat more sensibly. At least that's, that's the current plan. Charlie Squad's still resting. Um, they're going to be another seven hours. So let's get on and let's uh, let's do this first fight. Now everyone is tired, but it's only eight people, so it should be fine. Especially with it being night time. I spotted a creep. I'll see them before they see me. Uh, so straight off. Sometimes it's more fun when you have to try to be quiet. Ready. Gonna do this quiet and clean. I shall not. Everyone is tired, so we're not going to yes. get any Be free move. At position before acting. I think I can do this one from behind. I think we want to be able to see slightly more of them at the same time, so they we can take two shots at once. Okay, one gone. Hopefully, I can do this quick and clean. Two gone. And the rest will start coming towards us as they do. In my sight. Making myself invisible. I'm going to move they blood slightly over to the right. Just so we've got eyes. As silent as a spirit in the world on these guys as they come forwards quiet and deadly as the plague and i'm going to move vicky up as well Quiet. all right that seems seems like it's going to work oh wasn't expecting them to come around the right hand side these are hardy goons There is fewer of them now than at the start. Oh my god, that was a good hit. Still got more overwatch. Three remaining that I know about. Two remaining that we know about. How impressive. Alright, let's run and gun this guy. He's got quite a lot of armor by the looks of it, but it's not gonna. No evil doer can stand before you. Not gonna help when there's so much damage coming in. All right, let's uh, let's move up and do some flying knives. Moving. Well, we can't do fly knives, but uh, we can Moving we can throw position. a knife. About to make mince meat here. Oh, there we go. Oh. Established control, minimal loot by the looks of it. Blood here. But we can have a little explore around this oasis area. We move with certainty. Never move with oh, certainty. Maybe some good stuff in there. Definitely want to make sure that uh, anything. Let's just scrap this up. Uh, anything we come across isn't explosive underneath our feet. Locked. Hey, Fox gained wisdom. Right. Open the box. What's in here? Mortar cartridges. Nothing special. I'm more curious about this, like, treasure map with X on Abby it. Strolling. Moving. Like, it very clearly looks like they were, they were set up Let's to do, do some do treasure work. hunting in this area. Uh, what's that? The skeletal hand at the bottom of the lake clearly belonged to a lady. So, yeah, the lady of the, the lake has provided an AK-74. 
amusing. It's also pretty kitted out by the looks of it. We've already got a lot of uh, a lot of very nice weapons, so we don't really need Let's get moving. anything more. We have agreement. But that was a, a fun little uh, little detour. Right, let's join the We're other moving. team. Thanks, Doc. How are we looking? Ooh, people are healing, but it's just taking taking time. Hey, Len is no longer tired. At last, we can move Charlie's squad onwards. Okay, Reaper's completed the repair items. Still some injuries left on Larry. But now the team's combined, we could do some reloading. So the 44 standard, uh, we can give half of that. Uh, we can also probably give all of the match. Uh, in fact, no, we'll give half of it and half the arm piercing. So, bravo squad. And we could also give them uh, that uh, crowbar. <laughs> Has it actually given it to someone? There it is. Yeah, Tex has got it. Uh, it's going to be best used on someone with high strength. 81, 70, 70, 80, 80. Yes, yeah, so a Reaper. Reaper can carry it. And now we can potentially break things open. Okay. Let's make sure that everyone is reloaded. Uh, we're going to put AP bullets in your pistols. Uh, we're going to put match in your Winchester. And I think that's good. I'll refill the meds that we have just in case. Uh, we can scrap that one though. Okay, how are we doing for ammo over here? You're all good, you're all good. You're very good. Yeah. Currently loaded up with uh, 44 standard on those pistols, but we're not using those pistols. So, not. Let's change from 9mm standard to. 9mm match. What 9mm do we have over on this team? Subsonic, arm piercing, match. Let's give that straight across. Okay, better distribution. Uh, I think we just rest up and then push through together. I think that's going to be the best way of doing this. So in the meantime, let's uh, watch Charlie Squad move around. En route to destination. Now we could buy more stuff from Bobby Ray's. We don't really need to. Uh, and Len's contract is going to expire in five days' time. Okay. It looks like the two teams are ready to move on. So, off they go. Charlie Squad, however, has made it into the wetlands first. 
So let's just have a little look around and hopefully not encounter another alligator. Sure, boss us around. It could be any number of things what? in Move this out. area. It does look like there was a bridge of some kind. All right, let's go, people. Doesn't look like it's traversable though. Yeah, okay. Come, we go. Heading out. No critters. No, just um, just an interesting looking swampy right. area with uh, nothing You're of particular boss. note here. Ah, oh, well, there's some herbs. We'll grab them and uh, we'll carry on south. Time for a big fight. 12 versus 9. We should definitely have the advantage on this. Okay, I'm assuming that they're going to be set up around these two areas. I'd like to take the high ground first, so let's put everyone in over here. Yes? Making myself invisible. And then let's just go and be really mean to them from up high. They won't see me until it's too late. This is like an obscenely nasty. You want me to hide? Group. I completely brought the wrong outfit. I might keep Fox down a bit. Did someone call Dial a creep? Ooh. Yeah. Quiet and Let's deadly. Send most of the play. people up. Quietly. There is a sniper up on top. When I was little. I would hide from everyone. Maybe we should uh, quiet try getting blood to do a takedown. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Sneaking up on this guy's wants. You got this blood. <clears throat> Maximum stealth. Brilliant. Shh. Let's bring everyone in. And set up some horrible, horrible Overwatch lines. Shh. Gotta be quiet. Yes. They'll never see me. Which is kind of a shame, frankly. Now we want to open with Fox. This can but I think Flay is going to be our second shot. Sometimes it's more fun when you have. Oh to my try God! There's so many. Right, Barry. I will try to become hard to see. Could I just get you to throw a shape charge down, maybe? How many shape charges do you have? Because I want to save. You've got nine. Yeah, we don't need to save them. So yeah, when there's a when there's a decent group together. What's on your mind? I think I can do this one from behind. Unless there's a camera nearby, I'd be exposing myself. Oh, we got a collateral hit Enemy on spotted. the guy in front. Okay. So, Barry, your shaped charge. Can I hit four? It's pretty you solid. Just turn out to be all right. This like, if we got that original hit, we would have been in cover. Still perfectly fine. 
Uh, I don't think it's worth us throwing another one off. Right, the prey will not let's see. The prey get play to just kill this guy. Obviously, he didn't hear the shape to uh, charge, so, you know, he deserves to die. I'm so quiet, I can't even hear myself. Kalina. This will surprise them. You should be able to hit that. I have struck like Baba Yaga in the night. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, Fox, we need to do a little bit more with you. What? Oh, this whole area is like not possible to see and shoot over. Okay, fine. Barry. Barry. Another shaped charge, please. Wasn't quite as good as I would have hoped. Yeah, it's a really, Quiet. really bad position for the visuals. Right, run and gun is going to take seven. So if I get to here, I can still run and gun round that corner. Move in. <laughs> Keep pressing. Now that's my kind of woman. okay. Feels a bit better. Advancing undetected. Ready for a fight. We could, we could get a stick grenade over as well. Oh, We've got all these explosives, we may as well... Surprise. May as well use them. Scuzzwald removed. What? Um, reckless. Do a mortar style grenade over the top. That worked. And Fox didn't even really take that don't much damage, me. so I don't even feel now, too that bad looks about like something it. We could use. Okay, we're not going to operate the gun as much as I would love to. Mary Unger, something of great value. Ah, it's just a mortar. Which is a nicer thing on paper than in Let's reality, because we want to be moving forwards with our team, not just like staying back and, and mortaring an area. Although we might, we might actually like set the mortar up on the next map as we move in. It's a possibility. Hmm? Of course. Huh. The assertive type, eh? As for like this that. place as a whole, I think we're ready to move in and face the major. Now this could end up being a long one, so you got it. Let's uh, get the teams going. Walk this way. And in the meantime, Charlie Squad has established control over the wetlands down here. Sure, boss us around. Heading out. Got some herbs. We've got some villagers as well. Move out. I think this might be a use. All right, we're moving out. 
doesn't look like there's any story here, but... Nice little, I assume, fishing village. Uh, why cut it and some parts? We'll take it just so that we've got it. And we'll have a look oh, up in the building as well. Might want to gather any weapons and ammo nearby. Ooh. Do we have any crowbar to get in? No, we don't. So we can't actually open that up. It will forever remain a mystery as to what's actually in there. Okay, Charlie Squad. All right. You have a new destination. Go, people. But this... This is going to be big. Larry is tired. Which is a shame, but Larry's not going to be the key fighter in this. Into the eagle's nest. So the Major must be defeated and his involvement with Corazon Santiago investigated. It is night time. The Major's tent is up there. Lots and lots of guard positions. And we've only got the one deployment zone. So I think we're going to have to do what we can. What's on your mind? Making myself invisible. Okay, let's have a look at the mortars. So Barry has a mortar. I feel like it would be good to get it out and try it. Reaper also has a mortar, but I think I'd rather give it to Tex. Although Reaper had, does have the, the best explosives other than Larry. Maybe we'll give it to Larry, actually. Given it's loaded up with, uh, with gas, and then we'll switch over to the MGL. So if we're going to bombard... Evildoer. Bombarding here seems like a pretty good choice. Let's have a look at our... Yeah, so enemies there. Barracks with a raid leader over here on the left. does feel like the best option. They're going to be all over the place. Let's just hit the known pipe. No one noticed anything. Now, Larry's still hidden at this Attention, point. Soldiers. This is President Lafontaine. I am being kept in the Major's tent at the top of the... Oh! <coughs> well, well, the old rascal has quick hands. He may lose them later. In the meantime, Legion, we're under attack. Time to prove your worth. Okay, Larry's done what he can. He's still hidden. Um, so the mortar's actually pretty interesting in that sense. Uh, let's um, let's go back to the Apple squad and I think I can do this start picking behind. people off. You won't pay for this, foreign dogs! 21 remaining. That sniper, we can't quite see from I here. To make a noise. If I move Kalina up a little bit. Viewing won't see this coming. Oh, Don't let we missed. A single bit, man. That's not good. Discret 
Well, Flay, can we get you in a position to help? No. Okay, maybe we can get we. But no, not without. Uh, Hello. Some real we working. Let's get Barry forward then. Good odds of killing enemy without detection. Good odds, you say? Well, let's see how it goes. That'll do. Two solid bullets. We still are exposed on this side. Let's um, move Flay over to the left and start covering with some Overwatch. Moving under cover. Uh, Raider, we're going to get you backing this up. Defensive position taken. And Reaper as well. So my uh, my intention tactically is to kind of swing round to the left, clear all of this, uh, and then we'll come and deal with this side later, assuming that there is something to deal with over there. We're going to have blood over on, on this side. Just in case. And Barry's going to be there supporting, so is Vicky. Yes. Uh, you know what? We'll have we'll have reckless over here as well. Moving. Potentially with the rocket launcher. We'll just make sure there's no one standing behind. Going undercover. Okay, Raven. Let's uh, Don't know what hit him. move you forwards. Like and Tex will move you forwards as well. So the teams are kind of splitting up, going left and right. Other than Larry, who's just there with the mortar. That'll leave a bruise. Ow. I thought we were hidden. Let them see our courage. I guess Reckless must have been close enough to be spotted by that nice retaliation there. Don't worry, you get it on next stick. This Overwatch is letting me down somewhat. That's right. Give the evil doers a beating. Make them run back to their foul lairs. Oh, just swing your mom blessing. Lots of hidden movement. There's still at least 21 enemies remaining. Except we don't know what's gone on in the, in the gas, but hopefully the gas has done something. Ah. 20 enemies remaining. They won't see me until it's too late. Kalina. I have the villain in my sights. It would be really good if you could uh, kill this guy. My gun is not a magic wand, you know. Not quite. Moving quietly. I cannot get good shot. Try it anyway. Well, we hit him. Shh. Got a chance to do this quietly, man. Okay, we're going to do another bombard. And I think this one's going to be around here. Hmm. Advancing undetected. Won't know what hit him. Got a guy right close, take him out. Quiet now, partner. Uh, you need to reload, so let's do that. Huh? Like a cowboy ninja. Creeping up on some rustlers. We can get a little bit closer. 
trap for wrestlers. Ready, partner. The prey did not see me. And we're just kind of like edging forwards with this overwatch. Five, five, five. The angle's not not great, but there's not much we can do. Unless right. there's a camera nearby, I'd be exposing myself for nothing. Can we get this hit? There we go. Fox is just incredible. What? Uh, Reckless, it would be good if you bandaged yourself up a little. Although... Target locked. Safety first. You are strong and beautiful as Vasilisa herself. Mary Unger. Quiet. Okay, let's start moving people forwards. Silently. They won't see me until it's too late. They won't see me until it's too late. Back to the other team. Raider edge forwards a bit. Get the overwatch. This is not <coughs> a good place to shoot. Yeah, Reaper, you're not gonna to it. manage that shot, so come it along. As if something pulls me over there. And then hide. Listening, 1024. Okay, that'll do for this turn. A, a hell of a lot coming in. Damn wind fouled my shot. It is the bane of hunters everywhere. They definitely can't see from there. But we do have a lot over on that left-hand side. So I'm curious what's going to happen with the gas landing. Now... That's our mortars. Is this their mortars? Because if so, we need to get the hell out of here. Uh, which we can do with run and gun. Ow. It's fine. Running low on lead for my gun. That wasn't Larry. I made this shot a hundred times in movies. Uh, go for the torso. Oh. Almost got him. Advancing undetected. Wait. Okay. Uh, this is a dangerous position. Reaper, even though you're like hidden, it. we're gonna have to back you out. I am the silent reaper. We'll back up one for Flay. Take this out this brute. So easy. I'm already bored with it. Ah! Didn't quite take him out. That's uh. Listening. Ten twenty-four. Clear shot on perp. Let's go for a single shot on this guy's torso. It looks like Just you get finish it. him off. That was elegant. Aim shot on that guy's torso. Finish him off, and then Raven can go for the brute. Three more gone. And, yes, and Tex is bleeding, but fine. Ready. Right, reckless. I said you were gonna bandage. I'm like a shadow. The super secret shadow only I can see. Reloaded the mortar. Let's do some more bombarding. Where are we gonna bombard? Potentially over there, potentially here. There might be other stuff over that side. 
But this is somewhere where we know that there is stuff. And that's that's a logical place. Or we can like go here next to the tent. Uh. I like that. I like that as an idea. Sometimes it's more fun when you have to try to be quiet. Okay, so this person Mary here. Order. I have no clear shot. I have good odds of hitting enemy. Very well done, Barry. Get yourself in. Kalina here. Kalina hide. We're gonna start pushing up this middle area. Easy and quiet. <laughs> Silently. Gonna do this quiet and clean. Vic and blood pushing across and sweeping round. There's a target. You're a little bit exposed there. We could do flying daggers to move up on this guy and then take a couple of knife throws at him. You may just turn out to be alright. That was worth it. Definitely worth it. Get down into cover. I've not been keeping track of how many are dead, but... Enemy mortar fire with the gas. A little bit annoying. Ooh. Tex is fine. Standing in the open is not a problem. I should change Tex back to his pistols, though. Mercs are coming up fast. Legion troops, execute the prisoner. I repeat, President LaFontaine is to be executed immediately. Take away their hope and reclaim your country. Um, how about no? That seems like a bad a idea. In pond. Pistols. There yes, we wait. go. This is going to be annoying. Let's try and keep behind cover. I am the silent reaper. It's going to be a while until we can actually get past that. Yeah, and it looks like as much as we can move up a little bit, I think we're going to have to go the other way. You want me to hide? I completely brought the wrong outfit. Especially if we need to move quickly. Hopefully, I can do this quick and clean. In the back of the head, please. Missed him. Well, that's uh. When I was little, I would hide from everyone. Giving away where we are. Hmm. Oh yes. This should do it. There we go. Just like my sister, only less Hungarian. Second one's the charm. I will move silently. We can do some more bombarding over here. All right, Flay is going to have to come this way. Or maybe up this side, actually. This can't move. Read you. Five by five. Moving out. Go, go, go. Going undercover. Careful. Let's get the reload on. You can actually get up. Moving in dark. 
Okay. What is up, man? Blood. Get yourself hidden. They won't see Carry on pushing forwards. Same with Vicky. Silently. I thought foreigners were stupid and could not shoot with a gap. What is happening? This is gonna hurt. Or is he not gonna shotgun us? He must have used uh, too much uh, movement to get him into position. More to mishap. Oh dear. Well, this guy did move out the way. So, Fox. We will get in close. I'll do my best. This won't hurt it's a good bit. job there's no minimum range. It won't hurt me anyway. Uh, let's go like that. The time, the legion is to have truly lived. And then you can hide. Not the first person's mind I've blown. All right. Clean it out of the mortifier area. Yes, we need to be careful and position before acting. Okay, Tex. We can move you up to about here. Can't hide, but set up a bit of Overwatch. Going undercover. Won't know what hit him. This can start bringing everyone else up. Going undercover. Careful. They will not see me. Got a chance to do this quietly, man. Okay, Larry, reload and once again, mortar fire. I think over here in case there was any left alive. Like a giant cat. I stalk my prey. Making myself invisible. Blood. Start pushing up. Quiet and deadly as the plague. A little bit further. Definitely turning the battlefield into a dangerous area. Lots of lot gas everywhere. Gas hey! What do you know? We got one. Okay, now it says no enemies in melee range. <laughs> Larry make a great plucky sight. But if we do this, he's definitely in range. I see you, bomber man. I'm like a shadow. Larry. A super secret shadow only I can see. Discret more. Hi. In the meantime, we want to move everyone up that we can. Getting there, partner. I think we need to be a bit faster. The prey will not see me. Sometimes it's more fun. Oh, can you see him? Unless there's a camera nearby, I'd be exposing myself for nothing. That was it was hopeful. Hopeful but impractical. With certainty. Quietly. 
Okay, if I get Ricky to here, Let's we go. could do a run and gun around the corner. It's a couple of hits. Not really going to be enough to Going stop him doing anything, Careful. though. Move it. I am on the power. Bad problem. So doing a lot less stealth at the moment, so we can it close the gap. Something pulls me over there. Kalina, maybe you can get a Your shot. Turn is not a magic wand, you know. Give it a go. No, that was so so far off. Yes. Right, Reckless has finished bandaging. Acknowledged. Let's push over this way. See what we find. Scatter. There's a sniper up on the top. I think. I think the president may have just died. Okay, blood. Got to move quick. Free move takes you to here. Moving. In fact, you know what? Vicky will run and gun this guy down. Now that's my kind of and then taking a shot at the sniper as well. Jeez. What's on your mind? This is too hard for me, and that's not something I say very often. That's it. Keep it up, and this battle that's is in the bag. Proper incredible shooting by Fox there. Blood here. Right. Blood can hurry up. Moving into position. <clears throat> There's a cowboy ready. Oh, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Sure, partner. We oui. très bien. Listening, ten twenty-four. Let's try and get as many yes. people Understood. in this fight as we can. What's on your mind? Uh, Fox, you're done. Reckless, you're still exploring over here. Carry on round. Acknowledged. I'm so quiet, I can't even hear myself. And Larry, I don't think we really need to do any bombarding, but we could, could maybe bombard down here at the uh, the truck, sure. Mortar mishap. I suppose the mortar's down to 70%, so... Sounds like there's some nasty stuff. Yeah, the president's dead. We didn't get there in time. Ah. Oh. Don't tease me. Okay. What is up, man? Move. Free move gets us into here. Flying daggers up to the door. Uh, hmm. Now we could stab him or throw a knife at him. I think probably stabbing him. No evildoer can stand before you. Is going to be the fastest. Then we can flying daggers the sniper. Oh. 
But that's not everyone. Maybe there's more around the side. Oh, did he die actually round the side? Could be that. Yeah, there's the major. All right, let's brutalize him. Uh, another scar for the major. Blood is in a very precarious yes, position. Partner? Roger Wilco. I can't believe it was around the corner. I did not see that coming. Abby Strawlin. Mm. Kalina here. Huh? All right. Oh yes. We'll just move people in as much as we can. There's no point in trying to shoot around that corner because that's just not going to work. Although, we could try and get a grenade kind of behind. They don't get any better than Raider. The mage has been defeated, and there's just this one guy left. Let's hit him, let's hit him with another grenade. That's what we'll do. Damn, boys, you're better than I expected. All right, don't shoot. I'm laying down my weapon. You can shoot me later if you want. But let's have a chat first. There is something. There's some things that we have to know, eh? Well, let's... Um... Let's scrap up this mortar so they don't hit us with any more of it. Things you should know. And we'll bring How can I assist? Barry up here to have a look at this treasure. We've got so many things to have a look at on this place. Something to help us on our quest, perhaps? Gold Eagle is a hollow ornament glued to an authentic and quite valuable statuette of ancient origin. Hmm. Give that to blood to potentially take to the museum. Alright. So, what's the major got to say? Great job, boys. I really enjoyed the performance. I wish I could have trained my legion to be half as impressive. But at least those dummies managed to shoot the goddamn president. Yeah, that's a bad thing, and though. And we made them pay for it. Now it's your turn. Yeah, you're going to answer for this. I think I already have. You broke the Legion. You beat me in my own camp. Major Spike Scallion's last hurrah is finished. Only thing to do now is finish the Major himself. No, we need Don't more details. You wouldn't be the first man I've had to finish off. So why did you do it? Honestly, I didn't really care. Idealists like him always die before their time's up anyway. If not me, it would have been some other asshole trying to carve out a piece of this place to make their own. Hmm. Besides... I wanted to see if I could boost my boy's morale. They really hated that guy. I thought if they killed him, they might feel powerful enough to kill you. Nothing personal. As the Major, I'm expected to give those kind of orders. Yeah, he really needs to die. You were a merc like us. Well, I'm still like you. Only less delusional. Especially since I came here. I became the major when I decided to stop letting people yank me around on a string. That's not necessarily see, a good thing. I first came here as just a merc with a contract. Your Amiga, Corazon, hired me to destabilize the region and take some of those sweet diamond mines. I went right to work. My legion may not be the best military force there is, but it did the job. And it spread like wildfire. Yeah, we already knew that Corazon was uh, 
<laughs> Where's the problem? What if we hire? We're not gonna hire him. Uh, why did you break with the donors? My deal was with Corazon. It was all off the books. I seized the mines, and she and I split the profits. That was the deal. And that bitch got greedy, canceled my contract, and demanded I hand the mines and the legion over to her. Different century, same colonizer bullshit. I told her where she could stick that idea. And that's when she got stupid. Hired Biff Apscott and his band of buffoons to take me out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would have felt bad for him. Except I was laughing too hard. That is a fair Never reaction. Pay to do a predator's job. Hey, man. That's not cool. We, like, worked really hard. Sometimes. Oh, Larry. The new aim merc showed up, and my legion proved to be no match for professionals. But... You made the same mistake I made with Corazon. And now she's got the knife ready to plunge into your bags. Nah, we've already taken her out. Uh, do you have any evidence against Corazon? Because that's kind of what we need. Of course. I've still got the contract. The wording is purposefully vague. But along with some correspondence I kept, it'll sound pretty convincing in court. Here, this is where I keep all that stuff. You're welcome to it. I hope you nail that bitch. Justice will be done. Right. Well, in that case, we are going to send him to jail rather than killing him. Uh, but first, yeah, Biff was your friend. I don't know what gave you that idea. He was always a poor excuse of a merc, and it was about time he and his bunch of merc clowns got a reality check. But why? Reality is boring. We were a clown troop? Oh, man. So many things make sense now. All right. You're going to go to jail. Oh, no. That won't do at all. I want to die a soldier, not a fucking prisoner. Come on. Don't deny me that, damn you. No can do, Spike. You need to answer for your crimes in a public trial. I think I'd rather watch you do a perp walk. Yep. Raider and Raven, happy to cart him off. I reckon he's gonna die in transit. Okay. Time to open the satellite max. So, he's going to serve a sentence for war crimes. My father, he didn't make it, did he? I was holding on to hope, and you seemed so close to rescuing him. We were close. I understand that you did what you could. Even more, you got in trouble yourselves while trying to help me. I won't forget that. I'll see what I can do to help you in turn. Okay, so there's been a whole bunch of different outcomes. My father would be so proud of you because you fought to save his beloved country. Now this is my fight as well. Thank you for showing me the meaning of courage, resilience, and valor. This is how we fight for justice. Good job, team. Hey, Rady, you weren't this in for the whole fight. <laughs> and we are the heroes of it. Heroium Slava. Magnifique. But what shall I hunt now? Our strength and valor has brought order back to my country. Now it is time to rebuild the right way. I am in possession of much fulfillment from this success. And I am thanking God I have retained all of my extremities. Definitely something to be gra grateful no for. taste than the taste of victory. Well, maybe a nice chili con carne has it be, but not by much. Well, I feel sweaty, exhausted, and completely satisfied. I guess that means we're all done. For now. We survived the zombie apocalypse, man. We didn't even get bit. Hey, wait. None of you guys are, like, hungry for brains or anything, right? This was a damn fine victory. You should all feel proud of yourselves. Working with you has been an honor and a privilege. And, Commander, nice work. Thanks, Lame. Hot! 
time did we kick some ass this mission? I got the post-victor tingles. Mama's gonna go into town and find somebody to fuck or fight. That was a hell of an operation, but we handled it. Nice work, everyone. Well, it's been real. It's been fun. But it hasn't been real fun. Actually, that's not true. Sorry, I suck at goodbyes. Yeah, you do, Raven. We have reached the end at last. But I feel my dark work is not yet finished. I must depart and continue my journey. Until we meet again. I just love Reaper's dialogue so up, much. Partner. This is the best posse I ever rode with. Now, I ride into sunset. Happy trails! This was a real victory here, man. I be so proud of this whole team. Next time you need some help, don't be hesitating to call on Vicky Walters. Hello. Sorry for the lapse in communication, but I've been busy putting out fires. Your actions helped shape the changes that are happening in my country, and you certainly deserve a full report. Let's see what happened. Thanks to you, Colonel Foshu is dead. But the trouble he caused has outlived him. Without my father's influence, the government was on the verge of collapse. Only the threat of civil war was holding it together. Thankfully, without Foshu to lead them, the battalion commanders in open rebellion were not united. I was appointed provisional governor of the Ajani. It became my responsibility to safeguard the lives of the citizens of this region until the crisis passed. That's why I accepted the help of your friend Pierre and his Ernier Rangers. Hey. This conflict might have lasted for years, but thanks to his bravery, the renegade forces were defeated and we averted a prolonged civil war. However, he paid the ultimate price and died a hero. Oh no! Country. I wish I had known him better. Me too. We didn't really get to Roshina fight with him much. has suffered not just from the fighting, but also from the Red Rebis epidemic. Thanks to your efforts, it has been at least partially contained. There is even talk of producing a vaccine. But it is still in development. The work of Dr. Cronenberg was left unfinished, and more research is needed. In the meantime, the disease continues to spread at an alarming rate. I thought we uh, we got everything we needed Speaking for that. Of health risks. I was alarmed to discover that someone had been experimenting on my people with combat drugs. It seems that those reckless people in Landsbach have created some kind of bio-laboratory dedicated to making super soldiers. Of course, it was not a problem you were ever expected to solve. Still, I wish you were here. I can't think of anyone better to deal with super soldiers than you. Yeah, uh, Siegfried and his One goons. One bright spot to emerge from the darkness of the Ajani hostilities is the marriage of Maman Lilian and Mr. Chimurenga. It has made many people very happy. The two of them announced Pantagruel to be a free city and the Maquis fiercely defended from any armed forces who would say otherwise. Oh, that is a really nice thing. Lilise Rouge has become a shelter for refugees and wounded. We never did go back there. But enough talking about our troubles. I heard that a very peculiar green diamond called Pride of the Ajani was auctioned for $55 no million. Biff. The seller was someone named Biff Apscott, and he apparently spent all the money on a new boat, a luxury mansion for his mercenary agency, and a social network called Merc Space. What an idiot. I am livid. Do you know this person? That diamond is an important part of my people's history. It belongs in a Grand Chien museum. Uh, but my attention is being called elsewhere, my friend. Let me just say one last thing. I learned that Corazon Santiago faced trial, but there wasn't enough evidence to expose her. She deserves to rot in prison for her involvement in the war crimes she pinned on you. I can only imagine what a blow to your reputation that is for you. I'm sure that the truth will eventually be revealed. I'll do what I can to help. 
Until then, you have my best wishes. Au revoir. That's a shame we didn't quite get enough evidence to convict Corazon Santiago. But that brings the campaign to a very satisfying conclusion. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. And you'll be told when whatever next series I run decide uh, will, uh, will go live. This has been loads of fun and definitely a good successor to Jagged Alliance 2. I have thoroughly enjoyed it and I hope you have as well. See you soon.